Hey everyone, sorry for the really late video, but I've been so busy trying to catch up on Inktober and I fell behind because for one, I was working a lot and then I also was playing a lot of Rune Factory 5. But if you want to be all caught up in my art and how Inktober is doing, you can like follow my TikTok or you can follow my Instagram. Um, I, I could not stop playing Rune Factory 5. It's super cute and charming. So I did try Clip Studio Paint for the past two weeks whenever I wasn't uh, traditionally like doing Inktober or like sketching every now and then. And I absolutely love this program. It's really fun fun to use. All the little features are very, very interesting to use, especially as someone who has been using a ton of different art programs. And when I was uh, younger, teens, I was trying to find the right one. And at that time, it was just Paint Tool Sci. And I know Clip Studio Paint has been around for a while. I don't know why I didn't use it. I think I got it mixed up with Corel Painter or something. I hated Corel Painter. So far, Clip Studio Paint is just a combination of Photoshop and Paint Tool Sci. It has like the variety of brush types that are very similar to like using Sci. And the tools and the layout and like the different brush shapes that you can use reminds me a lot of Photoshop. And the layout being similar to Photoshop is like very 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 comfortable. I know a lot of people moving from like traditional drawing or painting and goes to digital or they just even use Procreate, they get very overwhelmed by the layout, the, all the options and buttons and stuff. But honestly, that's just how most art programs are. It's going to be a little confusing at first, but as soon as you start using it for, I th I'm guessing, two to three weeks, you'll generally get used to it, at least from my experience. Drawing this program felt so good. It just felt very like comfortable. Like when I like would do a brush stroke, I was like, yep, this just feels just like paint sigh. It feels like if I want it to be blended more, I switch to br this brush. If I want it like a more solid stroke, I'll just switch to like the ink pen and it's just easy to use. It's very understandable because one of the features I like about in this program is the time lapse because I'm starting to record my art. The time lapse is very, 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 very useful, helpful. It the file isn't too big onto my computer. Like I think most files are like the recording files, at least when I do like my sessions, are just from what I can read right now, the biggest one is like 23 megabytes, which is awesome. And it's you can change the duration like you can do like the full thing where it's like five minutes of like all your strokes and stuff and then you can shorten it to like seconds which I feel like is really good for content creators especially when they're doing art I feel like that'll be very very helpful instead of like trying to get like a um, OB like using OBS and put it into After Effects or Premiere or anything it simplifies the whole process of recording your art and just posting it online while uh, doing this video, I found out that when Clip Studio Paint needs to update, I'm not sure if this was a big update or a small update, it looked like a, like a small update, it, you cannot use the program at all, which I found very weird. And I also have a few issues with my um, video card um, pairing with uh, Clip Studio, because for some reason it was crashing at startup. I have to update my my video card driver or my graphics driver and I found that very annoying it kind of gave me flashbacks when I use a Wacom tablet and I hated using a Wacom tablet a lot because I would constantly have to update make sure everything is super up to date and uninstall and reinstall the uh, tablet's driver which is why I use a, a Huion I use a Huion GT I think a 191 think so but I like it so far it's been great uh, the price for Eclipse Studio Paint is pretty affordable um, if you want to use it on the PC uh, the monthly payment is I think eight or nine dollars a month which is not bad especially um, for all the features that you get for it 
or you can just pay like 50 bucks for the perpetual license but that may be going away i they have not announced when i just know a lot of people were angry that the perpetual license will be going away and i'm kind of not a fan of that too because then you constantly have to like make sure it's updating stuff personally i would rather have an lts version of it so once a year i update it but i think that's what the annual fee is for because there's an annual and a monthly and the annual i hope depending i may do the annual fee over the monthly because i don't want to deal with constant updates i'm like just give me a solid version of this so whenever you update i just buy a new one or something or buy do it like annually because for me i feel like that's very agreeable so you would rather give clip studio paint my money over adobe when it comes to this kind of thing i'd rather pay adobe like a one-time fee and just have photoshop because i don't think they've ever added like a interesting feature where i'm like yeah totally i'll keep paying this monthly for you to update it constantly and then add something to it that doesn't even do anything or like it pertains to mac users over pc users i feel like the eight dollars a month is pretty agreeable and I think it's like a dollar for like, if you're using it on your smartphone, which I don't know how that would work. I've never drawn on my smartphone or did any art like that ever, <laughs> maybe on a 3DS. But I feel like $8 a month is not super bad, especially like I have to think about when I was younger, um, when I was working part time, I think $8 a month would have been fine. And I was getting paid seven dollars an hour like 725 back then so it wouldn't be too awful to just take an hour of work <laughs> check onto like an art program especially if you're just using that you don't have all these other programs that you use or like you can really save up and just get the 50 dollars one and call it at night but i i feel like it's an agreeable amount but i know why people want it to be cheaper or have the annual or uh, have the one license so like you can just save up money and just get it and that's it and but this honestly it's just how where the industry is going now it, it can't be helped because more companies need more money because they need to pay their workers more or things are honestly generally becoming more expensive but other than the pricing debacle I'm really impressed by this program. I've been using our program for, I think, at least 10 years. And it's just, it's great. It's like if the guy who did Paint or Sai got a bigger budget <laughs> and was influenced by Photoshop. But yeah, I, I would say this program, I would definitely continue using it. And I have a lot of fun drawing with it. And I hope you like my end result. All right, that's my review. If you like this video, like it, and subscribe if you like to see more, and have a great day!